Would everyone please stand for a moment of silence and the pledge to the flag? Please remain standing. We, I neglected to mention, let's uh, have a moment of silence for the 15 Marines and one naval officer who were tragically killed this month, or last month. Thank you. Pretty loud. Okay, no one has signed up for public participation. Roll call. Bonasek? Yeah. Turnbull? Yeah. Amo? Yeah. And Agnes Dacus? No one Agnes Dacus? Benton? Here. Berkman? Here. Benelli? Here. Cheney? Here. Dillard? Here. DeSalvo? Present. Ekis? Here. Feggio? Here. Hines? Here. Chemnitz? Here. Kulisek? Here. O'Donnell? Here. Paduk? Ruskevich, Here. Sullivan, Here. Bureau, Here. Brescia. 19 eyes, two absent. Okay, Majority Leader Bonasek. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I move to approve the minutes of June 1st, 2017. Second. All in favor? Aye, aye. Opposed? Carried. Majority Leader Bonasek. Thank you again. I move to vote collectively on agenda item numbers 11 through 13. Second on that. Okay. And there are no objections, that'll be done. Any referrals, withdrawals, or consents? Okay, reports A, referred to legislators, B, received and filed. Numbers one through 10 and 11 through 13, vote collectively and 14 through 23 as well. We need a so, oh, we, I'm sorry. We did that, right, I thought so. Okay, number one, I just have a short presentation. First, uh, I beg your indulgence, just give me one minute. everyone to know that we have a very special occasion next Thursday. Two of our legislators up on this stage are going to turn the uh, half a century mark. <laughs> so we've got them a cake and I just wanted everybody to sing them happy birthday. One lady and one gentleman, I haven't said their names yet, we do have their pictures up here on straws. The lady is a few hours older than the gentleman. Right, right Kevin? <laughs> the cat's out of the bag now. Okay, Melissa and Kevin, would everybody please, after the meeting, we will have this cake in the, in the lunchroom, correct? Okay. Everyone, will somebody start on a happy birthday? Okay, I'll start. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Melissa, because you're older, and Kevin. Happy birthday to you. adopting a budget for the Orange County Community College for fiscal year 2017-2018 and providing for the raising of taxes required by such budget pursuant to section 6304 of the Education Law and Article 4 of the Orange County Charter. Discussion? Oh, Fagione added, Kulisek added. Um, add the whole caucus or just you? All Democrats? 
Did you want to talk? Jeff wants to speak. Okay. Everybody on? Okay. This may be my last opportunity to uh, vote on an ARC budget. Maybe you will. Uh, and I proudly support uh, the institution and the everybody knows my allegiance to the Middletown branch and, and the Newburgh branch. Right? Uh, but, uh, and Port Jervis now has a building too, I understand, right? Uh, you know, community college is a, is a great access for people to higher education. It's cost effective. And uh, I appreciate all of your efforts. A couple of things, because that's my nature. Uh, people say that our, our uh, we've, we've strayed a long time ago from the one-third, one-third, one-third contributory share. Uh, but it was mentioned that the county share is 29%, uh, I believe you said. And that's true, I'm sure, except for uh, it does not include uh, bonding payments, which the county pays for, and also for the uh, infamous chargebacks, where the county has to pay out of our own treasury I think it's over $5 million at this point. Uh, so if you were to recalculate it, we would proudly be well above the 33 and a third percent. So I'm just, uh, I'm giving us extra credit, extra credit points for, for our commitment to uh, Orange County Community College. And keep up the good work. Thank you, Mr. Legislator Pagione. Thanks, Chairman. Just want to take this moment as a uh, the representative here from the city of Port Jervis to applaud the leadership of Dr. Young and her staff at SUNY Orange uh, to have the vision and the foresight to see that bringing community college classrooms and classes to the city of Port Jervis will not only enhance um, the college itself, but it's going to be a great boost to the city of Port Jervis. And I know I talk to Dr. Young often and I'm very proud to work with her on that. And we're excited. Just as a side note, um, just the other day, Tuesday was National Night Out and Dr. Young and she brought over, I think, everybody and their brothers and sisters from the college because everyone had a blue shirt on and uh, was out there handing out information in the city of Port Jervis. So I look forward to the future of working with her and bringing real college classes to the city of Port Jervis. Thank you, Chairman. Thank you. And I will say also to Jeff, it was brought out at the meeting that um, the county picks up, well, the delinquent accounts on tuition, the, the state helps in the first semester, in the second semester they don't help. Did I understand that correctly? Yeah. Right. We don't get help the second semester from the state. We do in the first. We pick up a little more there as well. And it was also brought out after the meeting, Jim O'Donnell brought this up, that um, it was too late because the board of directors had already voted on the tuition increase. But next year, look at the fees like Dutchess County does, increasing the fees and not the tuition, maybe. A few legislators mentioned that to Chairman Riskevich. So, okay. Thank you. Roll call. Yes. Turnbull? Yes. Amo? Yes. Nagnostakis? Benton? Berkman? Benelli? Cheney? Dillard? DeSalvo? Ekis? Fagione? Yes. Hines? Chemnitz? Kulasek? O'Donnell? Riskevich? Sullivan? Biro? Brescian? 20 ayes. Okay, number two. Legislators Bonasek and Hines. Resolution amending the resolution number three of 2017, designating newspapers published within the county as official newspapers for the publication of all local laws, notices, and other matters required by law to be published in 2017, pursuant to subdivision two of section 214 of the county law to reflect a name change. Second. Discussion? Roll call. Bonasek? Yes. Turnbull? Yes. Amo? Yes. Anagnostakis? Benton, Berkman, Benelli, Cheney, Dillard, DeSalvo, Ekis, Fagione, Hines, Chemnitz, Kulasek, O'Donnell, Riskevich, Sullivan, Biro, Brescia. 20 ayes. Okay, number three. Legislators Fagione and Chemnitz, resolution of the Orange County Legislature adopting a policy in support of municipal conversion to LED streetlights. Second. Discussion? Legislator Cheney added, Ekis added, Hurley added. All Dems, all Republicans, and Independents. Okay. Roll call. Bonasek? Yes. Turnbull? 
Amo, yes. Nagnostakis, Benton, Berkman, Benelli, Cheney, Diller, DeSalvo, Ikes, Fagione, Hines, Chemnitz, Kulasek, O'Donnell, Ruskevich, Sullivan, Vero, Brescia. 20 ayes. Okay, number four. Legislators Ruskevich and Benton. Resolution of the Orange County Legislature assuming lead agency status under the State Environmental Quality Review Act, CEGRA, with respect to the replacement of Denton Bridge in the town of Minnesink, classifying the action as unlisted and determining that the action will not have any significant adverse environmental impacts. Second. Discussion? Roll call. Bonasek, Turnbull, Amo, yes. Anagnostakis, Benton, Berkman, Benelli, Cheney, Dillard, DeSalvo, Ekis, Fagione, Hines, Chemnitz, Kulasek, O'Donnell, Ruskevich, Sullivan, Vero, Brescia. 20 ayes. Okay, number five. Legislators Ruskevich and Benton. Resolution of the Orange County Legislature authorizing a fee acquisition of parcels of real property situated in the town of Minnesink, County of Orange, State of New York, in connection with a bridge replacement project known as the Rutgers Glen Bridge Replacement. Second. Discussion? Roll call. Bonasek, yes. Turnbull, yes. Amo, yes. Anagnostakis, Benton, Berkman, Benelli, Cheney, Dillard, DeSalvo, Ekis, Fagione, Hines, Chemnitz, Kulasek, O'Donnell, Ruskevich, Sullivan, Vero, Brescia. 20 ayes. Okay, number six. Legislators Ruskevich and Kulasek. Resolution authorizing the Orange County Executive on behalf of the Orange County Department of Public Works to enter into an intermunicipal agreement with the County of Sullivan in connection with the rehabilitation of bridge bin number 3344360. Second. Discussion. Roll call. Bonasek, Turnbull, yes. Amo, yes. Anagnostakis, Benton, Berkman, Benelli, Cheney, Dillard, DeSalvo, Ekis, Fagione, Hines, Chemnitz, Kulasek, O'Donnell, Ruskevich, Sullivan, Vero, Brescia. 20 ayes. Okay, number seven. Legislators Kulasek, Paduk, Benton, and Benelli. Resolution authorizing the county executive in conjunction with the Orange County Department of Public Works Airport to accept funds from the Federal Aviation Administration pursuant to section 99-H of a general municipal law and section 4.09 of the Orange County Charter. Second. Discussion? Yeah. Yes. Bureau added. Myrna added. Early added. Okay. Bonasek? Yes. Turnbull? Amo, yes. Anagnostakis, no. Benton, Berkman, Benelli, Cheney, Dillard, DeSalvo, Ekis, Fagione, Hines, Chemnitz, Kulasek, O'Donnell, Ruskevich, Sullivan, Biro, Brescia. 19 ayes, 1 no. Okay, number 8, bond resolution, two thirds vote. Quiet. Legislators Kulasek, Benton, and Hines. Bond resolution of the County of Orange, New York, authorizing the acquisition of snow removal equipment for the Orange County Airport, stating the estimated maximum cost thereof is $369,400, appropriating said amount, therefore, authorizing the issuance of 18,470 bonds of the county to finance a portion of said appropriation, and authorizing the expenditures of 332,460 expected to be received from the United States of America, and 18,400 and 70 expected to be received from the state of New York towards the cost thereof or the redemption of the bonds issued therefore or to be budgeted as an offset to the taxes for the payment of the principal of an interest on the bonds. Discussion. Roll call. Oh. Bureau added. Anasek. Yes. Turnbull. Yes. Amo. Yes. Anagnostakis. Benton. Berkman. Benelli. Cheney. Dillard. DeSalvo, Ekis, Fagione, Hines, Chemnitz, Kulasek, O'Donnell, Ruskevich, Sullivan, Vero, Brescia. 20 ayes. Okay, number nine. Yes, sir. Yes, Curly added to the last one. Number nine. <laughs> yes, you, you called number nine? Yeah. Yep. Oh, okay. Yes, Mr. Chairman, I'd like to ask if we could uh, 
make this into two individual votes. Let's pull and separate out the uh, parcel that is in the, the town of Highlands from the other uh, three. Okay. Parties. If there's no objection, that'll be done. And we'll vote on the Highlands first, let us say. Does it go in that order? Okay. Okay. Yep. Legislators Benton and Berkman, resolution authorizing the private sale and conveyance of certain county-owned lands acquired by reason of a failure to redeem said lands from a tax sale to Orange County, pursuant to section 10184 of the Real Property Tax Law and Orange County Amended Local Law Number 2 of 2010. Second. Discussion? Okay, just on the Highlands piece. Monasek? Yes. Turnbull? Yes. Amo? Yep. Anagnostakis? Benton? Berkman? Benelli? Cheney, Dillard, DeSalvo, Ekis, Fagione, Hines, Chemnitz, Kulisek, O'Donnell, Ruskevich, Sullivan, Vero, Brescia. 19 ayes, 1 abstention. Okay, now on the remaining parcels. Bonasek, yeah. Turnbull, yeah. Amo, yes. Anagnostakis, Benton, Berkman, Benelli, Cheney, Dillard, DeSalvo, Ekis, Fagione, Hines, Chemnitz, Kulisek, O'Donnell, Ruskevich, Sullivan, Vero, Brescia. 20 eyes. Okay, number 10, another bond resolution requiring two thirds vote. Legislators O'Donnell, Amo, Benton, and Agnostakis. Bond resolution dated August 3rd, 2017. Bond resolution of the County of Orange, New York, authorizing the replacement of boilers at the Valley View Center, stating the estimated maximum cost thereof is 516,000, appropriating said amount therefore and authorizing the issuance of 516,000 bonds of the county to finance said appropriation. Second. Discussion? Yes, Legislator Benelli. Added, okay. Curly added, Roseanne added. Jeff Berkman wants to speak. Okay. Yeah, I believe this is the resolution where $100,000 went towards the planning of this, and uh, I'm still going to support it, but uh, it, because of my confidence in uh, Mr. Ledoux. Uh, and since Valley Views turned out to be a money generator for Orange County, which is the exact opposite of what we thought just a few sh short years ago. But uh, I hope he's watchful. 100000 for a study seems maybe almost twice as much, but I don't want to uh, put him in handcuffs. But I think it was Mr. Cheney that said he should sharpen his pencil, if I, if I may remember correctly. Legislate our major minority leader, excuse me, Turnbull. Yeah, thank you, Mr. Chairman. I will also point out that I believe 75% of this we get back uh, from the feds. So uh, we perhaps are um, a little bit careless sometimes. I agree with Legislator Berkman that $100,000 uh, was was an awful lot of money. We should track these things and see uh, what the final numbers are so we can confirm, you know, that what we suspect to be true is in fact true. Thank you. Okay, Myrna. Yes, Myrna. Yep. Okay, roll call. Bonasek, yes. Turnbull, yes. Emo, yes. Anagnostakis, Benton, Berkman, Benelli, Cheney, Dillard, DeSalvo, Ekis, Fagione, Hines, Chemnitz, Kulisek, O'Donnell, Ruskevich, Sullivan, Vero, Brescia. 20 eyes. Okay, 11 through 13 collectively. Just roll call, right? Mm -hmm. Or questions? Roll call. Bonasek? Yes. Turnbull? Yes. Amo? Yes. Anagnostakis? Benton? Berkman? Benelli? Cheney? Dillard? DeSalvo? Ekis? Fagione? Hines? Chemnitz? Kulisek? O'Donnell? Ruskevich? <coughs> Sullivan? Vero? Brescia? 20 eyes. Okay, number 14. Legislators in Agnostakis, Amo, O'Donnell, Ekis, Chemnitz, Ruskevich, Sullivan, Berkman. Resolution authorizing the county executive in connection with the Orange County Department of, I'm sorry, in conjunction with the Orange County Department of Mental Health to submit an application for the Alternative to Incarceration ATI grant from the New York State Division of Criminal Justice Services. Second. Discussion? Yes. 
Minority Leader, all Democrats. Okay. Roll call. Bonasek? Yes. Turnbull? Yes. Amo? Yes. Anagnostakis? Benton? Berkman? Benelli? Cheney? Dillard? DeSalvo? Ekis? Fagione? Hines? Chemnitz? Kulasek? O'Donnell? Riskevich? Sullivan? Vero? Brescia? 20 ayes. In number 15. Legislators Bonasek and Anagnostakis. Resolution authorizing the Orange County Executive on behalf of the Orange County Office for the Aging to enter into an intermunicipal agreement between the County of Orange and Village of Greenwood Lake pursuant to General Municipal Law Section 1190. Second. Discussion? Verna? Added? Okay. Very added. Okay, roll call. Bonasek, Turnbull, yes. Amo, yes. Anagnostakis, Benton, Berkman, Benelli, Cheney, Dillard, DeSalvo, Ekis, Fagione, Hines, Chemnitz, Kulasek, O'Donnell, Riskevich, <coughs> Sullivan, Vero, Brescia. 20 ayes. Okay, number 16. Legislators Ekis and Fagione. Resolution authorizing the county executive to accept donated labor and parts for a county owned vehicle on behalf of the Orange County Sheriff's Office pursuant to section 215 of county law. Second. Discussion? Yes. Chuck Berkman added. Roll call. Bonasek? Yes. Turnbull? Yes. Amo? Yes. Anagnostakis? Benton? Berkman? Benelli? Cheney? Dillard? DeSalvo? Ekis? Fagione? Hines? Chemnitz? Kulasek? O'Donnell? Riskevich? Sullivan? Vera? Brescia? 20 ayes. And number 17. Legislators Ekis and Padu, resolution authorizing the county executive in connection with the Orange County, again, in, connection, in conjunction with the Orange County Sheriff's Office to accept funds from a New York State Division of Criminal Justice Services pursuant to section 99-H of the General Municipal Law and section 4.09 of the Orange County Charter. Second. Discussion? Added. DeSalvo added. Benelli added. What's that? Bonasek added. Fagion added. Kulasek added. Early at roll call. Bonasek, yes. Turnbull, yes. Amo, yes. Anagnostakis, Benton, Berkman, Benelli, Cheney, Dillard, DeSalvo, Ekis, Fagione, Hines, Chemnitz, Kulasek, O'Donnell, Riskevich, Sullivan, Vero, Brescia. 20 ayes. Okay, number 18. Legislators DeSalvo, Hadoop. Resolution authorizing the county executive in conjunction with the Orange County Department of Emergency Services, Police Services, to accept and appropriate grant funds from the State of New York Governor's Traffic Safety Committee, pursuant to Section 99-H of the General Municipal Law and Section 4.09 of the Orange County Charter. Second. Discussion? All Dems? Okay. O'Donnell? Added. Okay. Roll call. Bonasek? Yes. Turnbull? Amo, yes. Anagnostakis, Benton, Berkman, Benelli, Cheney, Dillard, DeSalvo, Ekis, Fagione, Hines, Chemnitz, Kulasek, O'Donnell, Riskevich, Sullivan, Vero, Brescia. 20 ayes. Yes, Jeff. You want to be added though? Oh, all them's were added, yep. Sorry. Okay, 19. Legislators Fagione, Turnbull, DeSalvo, and Bonasek. An act amending the appropriate Orange County employment schedules to create Crime Victims Counselor at the Orange County Department of Probation, pursuant to Section 2.02i of the Orange County Charter. Second. Discussion? Yes. Matt? Thanks, Mr. Chairman. Uh, so, in committee, we, I spoke to this and suggested that the potential for this to be a win 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 was just enormous. Um, you know, law enforcement is in a position to do some things here that makes their job easier, as does uh, the, um, the, the person who has committed the infraction, and of course the taxpayer. So um, we love to see things like this coming across the desk, and it's an investment that's, uh, I think, going to turn back uh, considerable results for the people of Orange County. Okay. All Dems. Berkman. Okay. All Dems. Okay. Recovered. Yes. Jim, you want to speak? Or you just added? Yeah, I got 
All Republicans? Okay. Independence? Two. Okay, roll call. Bonasek? Yes. Turnbull? Yes. Amo? Yes. And Agnostakis, Benton, Berkman, Benelli, Cheney, Diller, DeSalvo, Ekis, Fagione, Hines, Kemnins, Kulasek, O'Donnell, Ruskevich, Sullivan, Vera, Brescia. 20 ayes. Okay, number 20. Legislators Cheney, Fagione, Benelli, and Kulasek. An act amending the appropriate Orange County employment schedules to create Director of Project Management, Division of Engineering at the Orange County Department of Public Works. Pursuant to Section 2.02i of the Orange County Charter. Second. Discussion. Roll call. Bonasek, yes. Turnbull, Amo, <clears throat> Anagnostakis, Benton, Berkman, Benelli, Cheney, Dillard, DeSalvo, Ekis, Fagione, Hines, Kemnitz, Kulasek, O'Donnell, Ruskevich, Sullivan, Biro, Brescia. 20 eyes. Okay, number 21. Legislators Benton, Turnbull, Bonasek, Benelli. An act amending the appropriate Orange County employment schedules to reallocate fiscal director from grade 23 to grade 25 at the Orange County Department of Social Services, pursuant to section 2.02i of the Orange County Charter. Second. Discussion? Roll call. Bonasek, Turnbull, yes. Amo, yes. Anagnostakis, Benton, Berkman, Benelli, Cheney, Dillard, DeSalvo, Ekis, Fagione, Hines, Kemnitz, Kulasek, O'Donnell, Ruskevich, Sullivan, Vero, Brescia. 20 ayes. Okay, number 22. Legislators Turnbull, Benton, Bonasek. An act amending the appropriate Orange County employment schedules to reallocate administrative officer social services from grade 22 to grade 25 at the Orange County Department of Social Services pursuant to section 2.02i of the Orange County Charter. Second. Discussion? Roll call. Bonasek, Turnbull, yes. Amo, yes. Anagnostakis, Benton, Berkman, Benelli, Cheney, Dillard, DeSalvo, Ekis, Fagione, Hines, Kemnitz, Kulasek, O'Donnell, Ruskevich, Sullivan, Vera, Brescia. 20 eyes. Okay, number 23. Legislators Turnbull, Benton, O'Donnell, Kemnitz. An act amending the appropriate Orange County employment schedules to create Director of Mental Health Jail Services at the Orange County Department of Mental Health, pursuant to Section 2.02i of the Orange County Charter. Second. Discussion? Yes, Roseanne. Uh, I'd just like to say that um, this is not a new service. It sounds like a great service, much needed. Um, however, I'm going to be voting no today because it was a con contracted out service and um, from elimination of that contract, we are now creating a new position. And I don't think that that is as effective or as efficient <coughs> as contracting out. So I'll be voting no. Okay. Roll call. Bonasek, yes. Turnbull, yes. Amo, yes. Anagnostakis. Benton, Berkman, Benelli, Cheney, Dillard, DeSalvo, Ekis, Fagione, Hines, Kemnitz, Kulasek, O'Donnell, Ruskevich, Sullivan, Vero, Brescia. 19 eyes, one no. And the desk is clear. Thank you. Uh, we have two speakers signed up for the public participation participation portion excuse me uh just a couple ground rules here and i don't want to sound like a taskmaster taskmaster but um i will give a 15 second grace period beyond the three minutes once that bell rings you'll have 15 seconds that doesn't mean 20 seconds that doesn't mean 25 seconds that means 15 seconds and that will be adhered to or it will be strictly three minutes henceforth okay that at no time will anybody from the public come up on this stage. I'm, I want to be clear on that. Deputies, I'm very clear on that. Thank you. Okay? And in your speeches, there will be no character assassinations of legislators, no engaging with legislators. You will say your opinion. That is it. Okay? We will do this with civility. Henceforth. Okay? 
I think you know the rules. You, you played them last time. I'm talking about you, Scott, because last time what happened to this after this legislative session was not a, was very upsetting to a lot of legislators. Okay, you came up on the stage. Not going to happen anymore. Just telling you that right now. Just saying there was no sign telling me. I okay, you know about it now, though. Okay, everybody else does. Gramilla Malik, three minutes and fifteen seconds. It's three minutes. It's been three minutes, as long as I can remember. Thank you for letting me present here. Um, so I have been in touch with the legislature, the legislator, and I think there was possibly some miscommunication. But we had sent all of you, actually, a resolution, a proposed resolution, to voice your opposition to the Valley Lateral Pipeline. Um, as you know, the Valley Lateral Pipeline is the last permit needed for the CPV Valley Power Plant. And as you know, the CPV Valley Power Plant is wrought with corruption charges, um, uh, corruption of the approval process, and corruption of um, uh, actual state aides um, who had a role in uh, supporting the project. So um, we are asking you, the legislator, to allow a vote on this resolution by consent. I'm asking if there is any legislator here who will support this resolution right now so that we can vote on it. The deadline for comment is tomorrow. And this is why this is time sensitive. We're an emergency center and this is an emergency. So is there any legislator willing to do that? None? Nobody? As I said, <laughs> I don't know how strongly I can emphasize this. Um, this is the last permit and our last chance for you to voice your opposition to the corruption to protect the health and safety of all of Orange County. This is your last chance. The Shoreham Nuclear Power Plant was never became operational, even though it was completely built, because the Suffolk County legislator at the very last moment, at the 11th hour, said, wait a minute, we're not going to let the state um, run roughshod over our, our county. We're not going to be bullied. We're going to stand up for our constituents. And they passed a resolution opposing the Shoreham Nuclear Power Plant. That was the turning point for that project. We need you to initiate the same for us. Is any one of you, any one of you, are you a parent? Are you a mother? Are you a father? Do you care about the health and safety of the children? The science is clear. One of the legislators told me, well, you know, we're not educated. All of that information has been sent to you. It's all on the Protect Orange County website. We had a trial in which prominent public health and climate change experts came and testified. All the information is there. This is an imminent catastrophe upon everybody in Orange County. So will you step up at the last moment and do the right thing and support this resolution? At least bring it to the floor. Will any one of you bring it to the floor by consent? One of you, one out of 21, is there one who's going to be a hero, a champion for the people? Not one? None of you? Really? I'm going to read the resolution anyway. It says, whereas the proposed Millennium Valley Lateral Project would cut through critical water bodies and wetlands in Orange County, whereas the Valley Lateral Pipeline would cut through protected farmland in Orange County, Whereas the Valley Lateral Pipeline would seize private property by eminent domain. Whereas the districts in Orange County through which the Valley Lateral Pipeline would cross include protected Act 2 districts and critical environmental areas. Whereas the construction and operation of the Valley Lateral Pipeline poses an unacceptable risk to human health, drinking water, surface waters, and dangerous species. Thank you, Pramila. Next speaker, Scott Martens. Next speaker, please. Thank you. <coughs> Thank you all very much again for having me. You know me by now. I'm Scott Martens, I'm from West Town. I'm going to read a little bit today so that I am concise. I've spoken to many of you, many of you personally, and I've reached out to all of you in an effort to increase awareness about the CPD power plant and its effects that it will have on our community. By ignoring the science and the voice of your people and refusing to stand up for their most basic rights, it's obvious that you just don't care enough. Therefore, it can now be understood that most of you are complicit in the development of this dangerous and unnecessary project. This is on you. 
and all the voters will not forget it. I've come before this legislature three times before asking for your help, pleading for your help. I was kind, I was polite, I was asking, I was asking to communicate. Tell me how you feel. Convince me that this place is good. It's not. None of you even tried. I'm done with that. I'm here now as a reporter for the people and, and to be on the official record so that you cannot ever say that you didn't know or were uninformed. The information was all presented to you and, give, and you were told where to get it. And this is on you. So, in that context, there was a DEC public hearing for the final permit last night in Middletown at the Paramount Theater. The Paramount Theater is a pretty big place. That place was almost packed. And the vast, vast majority of people there were anti-CPB. The small handful of individuals that spoke for CPB are all people that are paid by CPB. Not one single citizen, common citizen, got up there and spoke on CPB's behalf. Not one. But over 80 speakers. All of the pertinent issues were commented on. The public health impact, the environmental impact on the local, state, national, global level, the environmental justice issue, which is just plain criminal and frightening for the people of Middletown, the corruption that facilitated this project from the very beginning, the socio-cultural impact on Middletown, New Hampton, and Slate Hill, the farms that are there, the catastrophic disaster risk issue from, neg from the negligence to terrorism, and the past track record of the Millennium Pipeline Company and what they've done in Orange County to farmers, destroying their property, testified last night. Eight years, they destroyed acres and acres of Pine Island and they never fixed it. To this day, the third generation farmer, his son doesn't want to take over the farm because it's not profitable anymore. He got a standing ovation. A standing ovation. You would have thought a band just played. These issues were all eloquently and thoroughly covered, but it's easy because this project is so obviously flawed and egregious on every level. So I urge all of you once again to consider the facts and decide whether you as a member of this community and as a paid representative for the people will stand up and fight against this unnecessary and criminal project. Now is the time. It's not too late. Thank you, Scott. Thank you. I'll entertain a motion to adjourn. So moved. Second. Second. Okay. All in favor? Aye. Aye. We're adjourned.